Sam Darnold is the 49ers QB2. This according to Ian Rappaport and Tom Pelissero, who just reported that the 49ers have internally decided on the quarterback competition for that second spot. Darnold picked up in free agency this offseason over Trey Lance, who's QB3. Now, that settles a debate that a lot of people have partaken in over the past several months. I think we all saw this coming. Darnold has the higher floor than Trey Lance. It's not a ceiling argument. It's a floor argument. When you have to insert your quarterback two into a game, you don't want the offense to fall off of a cliff as far as the floor. You want to maintain a certain level of competence. And Sam Darnold has definitely established that over Trey Lance. Now, you can argue all you want. Does Trey Lance have a higher long-term ceiling? Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. But quarterback two, the job description is a little bit different. It's about the quarterback two floor. And that's why the 49ers decided on Sam Darnold. That's why we've expected this for, I think, several weeks now. We've been talking about it. Anyway, the 49ers now have options. And I mean, they had options before this, but their option power is now set up to be, I think, the most multiple that it's that it's been at the quarterback position. Because obviously, you've got Purdy at QB1. Then you have Darnold as the higher floor guy, QB2. And then you have your developmental candidate, Trey Lance, who needs more reps, obviously, at quarterback three. If Lance stays on the 49ers, there's a good chance that he's going to be able to get some good practice, uh, so some good scout team reps at practice for the team. And scout team reps, they emulate what other teams' quarterbacks do. Trey Lance uh, got to do a lot of those in 2021. Brock Purdy made the most of his time on the practice squad or up on the scout team last year. don't want to say the practice squad, the scout team last year at practice. So there are several ways for the 49ers to go about this. Obviously, a trade is possible. I'm guessing that this news was leaked to Ian Rappaport and Tom Pelissero through an agent. That's just a guess from me. It could have been from Darnold's agent or from Lance's agent. And everybody already knew that the 49ers were trying to cultivate as much option power as possible through depth in the quarterback room to give themselves multiple potential bridges to cross, right? One of the potential bridges to cross is, well, if somebody offers a lot for one of their quarterbacks, Darnold or Lance, in this case, Lance is now QB3, so it seems that he'd be more available. If somebody offers a deal you can't refuse, you can go ahead and pull the trigger on a trade. So maybe this was put out there to underline the availability of somebody like Trey Lance. I think the entire league already figured, well, the 49ers might have a surplus of quarterbacks. Let's look into acquiring somebody, but um, this could just underscore that. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if there's a quarterback needy team. I think the 49ers are more than fine with carrying as many QBs as possible on their 53 man roster, because you're better on the scout team that way. You're better insulated against what happened last year, which I think was the initial goal of all of this to make sure you stock the quarterback room. And uh, you just keep on proceeding forward according to the laws of option power. So right now, Purdy, Darnold, Lance in that order. Then there's Brandon Allen, of course, in the mix too. He gives the 49ers some QB3 insurance for that third quarterback rule in case they do part ways with Trey Lance. So it could give the 49ers even more optionality in that regard. By the way, third quarterback rule, if the 49ers were to start the season today, I know they're not, it would work with all three of the top quarterbacks dressing, Purdy, Darnold, and Lance. But Lance would only be available in an emergency as their emergency third quarterback. He wouldn't count against the active 46 with the new rule. And uh, Darnold and Purdy would have to be medically not allowed to return to the game, not cleared by doctors. So that's how it stands right now. I think as expected, right? Brock Purdy QB1, Trey Lance is QB3 with Sam Darnold winning that QB2 job according to Rappaport and Pelissero. Off to the practice field more soon.